Hi there. Welcome to Grace Church. Grace Church exists to reach people with the love of Christ and empower them to walk in their identity and authority as sons and daughters. On February 12th, right after service, the young couples will be going to lunch together. Yeah, we're going to Kaika Teppanyaki. But it's about more than the grilled food and the onion ring fire volcanoes. It's about building stronger friendships and just doing life together. Women, February 3rd and 4th, Grace Church is hosting the IF Gathering. This is a simulcast that looks at the early church and how God worked through them through simple acts of faith. You will need to register for this event, so check out our website to find more details. Men, February 1st is Men's 33. But instead of me telling you about it, here are some of our men's leaders. All right, guys, you know, we know 33 is gonna be starting up on February 1st, and that's our uh, men's group here at Grace Church. And uh, I think it would be good since we had such a long break this past year that we uh, kind of share what 33 is all about for the people who don't know. Uh, 33 is just an amazing platform and ministry for men to really be able to come together, build relationships with each other, and also uh, be able to understand and learn exactly how God designed them what his desire for their life is, and what that looks like practically. Yeah, the structure is really good on, on the 33, I think, as well. It, it kind of allows you to get some instruction, some knowledge, some information. And I think about today in our culture where there's so much confusion about roles. And, and, but then also there's that opportunity at the end where you can really open up and be honest and real with each other. I know for me, um, one of the biggest things I enjoy about 33 is just hanging out with you guys. <laughs> I think it's good to get to know other men. Um, a lot of times men tend to le lead solitary lives and they don't even realize it. And I think too, I think the, just the whole pattern that Jesus laid out as a man himself and how he actually lived this out before us and the instruction and some of the, uh, some of the teachings that are there are really significant. I think men need to be introduced in some cases to real biblical manhood. And that's our goal. You know, this is not about just instruction and teaching, it's about relationship. Yeah. And that's, I think that's a big deal for a guy to come into that and really get a, get a grip on it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so important that we as men have an environment that we can be really transparent with each other, really share some of the challenges and struggles that we're going through uh, so that we can collectively uh, encourage each other, give wise counsel, call each other up, is having that connection between each other. And so that, I believe, is probably one of the most important reasons that men need to come be a part of this. Students, summer camp is until, well, summer. But it's already time to begin thinking about how to prank Tim. Um, that's not what the script says. Oh, I mean it's time to turn in the deposits. This is the last week to put in your deposit for summer camp and to stock up on shaving cream. I'm pretty sure it says here in the rules that there is no pranking. If you want more info on any of these things or events, visit our website at gcajax.com. Well, it's time to get back to the service. Thank you guys so much for joining us.